Hello everybody, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we are going to get all the way through the desert missions. I <laughs> had to take two episodes to get through the grass missions just because they were terrible. Uh, I mean, that massive amount of spears. So, today, we're going to go up against the deserts. We're going to get all the way through these, I tell you. Right now, we're doing this. Okay. So, these guys seem relatively exposed. What if we... Let's go for a chariot. Santa Claus, let's let's do this. Let's put one right there, and one right there. And we're just going to start it, see how that works. Okay, those guys went flying. That works. <laughs> there goes that shield. And right through the middle. Good job. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And there they go. Okay, so that didn't work all that well. But it did work in scattering them. We've got some money left. Let's put down some archers. And they will take care of the stragglers once these chariots are done. So there goes the flip. Those guys go flying. They're still alive? Yep, yeah, they are still alive. Okay. There's that. Oh, gosh. Please do not hit the archers. <laughs> The heck just happened there? Like, it kind of spazzed out for a second. Oh, dang, that must be really painful for you. I mean, look at that. If I can get over there. Look at that arrow. Oh my gosh, why? Why was this a thing that was allowed to happen? Cherry is just spazzing out in the back. Okay, so that clearly didn't work. Um... What if we used the barrel riders? And like, we'll put one right there. We'll go down. And we'll put one right there. Okay, so let's go for this. Okay, so there goes the barrels. And that one's like completely missing his mark. And boom. Okay, good. Alright, it does. Alright, let's move this barrel rider him over here a little bit more just so he goes towards these guys and is attempted to attack the shields okay so that works then we've got a lot of money left what if we put in footmen like we put in a couple over here that's good and then we'll go down and we'll put some in right here and maybe these guys will have enough uh ability that they are Barrel Riders will get these guys and kind of burn them up. And then these guys will come in and take them out. And that'll work. That'll work, I tell ya. Here we go. There we go. Get them, Barrel. Oh my gosh, this Barrel Rider just, just does not want to go. Got him! Oh crap, my guys are gonna run right into that fire, aren't they? <sighs> yep, there he goes. Okay. That Barrel Rider's still going. Dude, what are you doing? Like, seriously, where are you going? <laughs> what even? What even just happened there? I, I can't... I can't even tell. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um... What if we used a cannon crew? How well do you work against these guys? I know the catapults are pretty good at taking out shields. Okay, so that worked pretty well. That was all right. So we've got that guy in. What if we throw in two barrel riders now? And they will try to get the guys who try to come this way. We'll see how this works. Go, my barrel riders. Go. Get them. Man, those guys just keep going flying. I, I don't understand it. what's up with it. Okay, there goes one barrel. There goes two barrel. Now, these guys are kind of burning up. There we go. There we go. I may want to put the barrel riders back a little bit so that they have a delayed explosion on these guys, and there will be more people in there. We've got the two barrel rollers. Let's, this will work. Maybe. Okay, there goes the original in, initial blast, and those guys get hit. Okay, there go the barrel rollers. There's one explosion. There we go, with two explosions. Okay, so that's killing them quite nicely. It actually worked pretty well. Okay, good. Fire, fire them in the face, fire them in the face. It worked. It's working. 
and it didn't work. I think that's just because, you know, we're kind of missing a few people, but we've got some money left. We can put people in. So I think the best thing to do would be to put in, let's go Crusaders. I think the best thing to do would be to put in a lot of footmen. And we'll put them all back here so that they don't get caught in the explosion. Okay, this, this is gonna work. Get him, got him. Okay, here go the barrel rollers. Okay, okay, he nearly hit. He nearly hit, ran into him. Okay, so there's one explosion. Oh, you can't be, dude, you're supposed to go and actually reach these guys. Okay, so I think the trajectory was just a little off. Let's try that again, see how they work. Okay, dude, go, go over to them. Crying out loud, dude. Do not run into the freaking cannon. Why must you do this? Seriously, dude. Okay, there go all of the footmen. So there goes all my happiness. <laughs> Alright, we'll put a barrel roller right here. And he will get these guys. Okay, this will work better, maybe. Okay, so here goes barrel roller number one. Right, there goes barrel roller number one. And kaboom. Kaboom. Dude, blow up already. Okay, there's... There's the explosions I'm looking for. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um... So I'm, tr I'm trying to lead these guys into, like, a kind of unfavorable situation for them. Let's put the two barrel rollers right here. They'll go around the cannon. Okay, go around the cannon, guys. No, don't both go the same way. And you ran over cannon guy. Oh, <sighs> you... Look at the way he's walking, it looks like such an idiot. Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. Really, guys? Really? Okay, so the barrel rollers... I feel like the barrel rollers did so well that time earlier. I feel like they're the thing I should be using. But they just don't want to work. Okay. So here goes the barrel roller. Got him! Right there. Okay, these guys are walking into a trap. There they go, there they go. Where is my other barrel roller? Oh my gosh, did you see me kind of karate chop the cannon like clean in half? Okay. Get rid of this barrel roller. Try a different barrel roller. There's... There's the barrel roller. Okay, let's go. Here, this is gonna work. Okay, so they're going in. He's got him. He's got him right there. There we go. They are getting taken down. Okay, so there go a lot of them. They're just kind of burning to a crisp there. That works. That works. Holy crap. This isn't going to work. Dude, fight already. Got him. Okay, so I don't think the footmen are the people I should be using. What if we used archers instead? Where are the archers? Or maybe, like, these guys have 300 health, speed, 100 attack speed, 1. What about the samurai? They're like, just, they're just worst, ver they're just worst versions. Okay, so the footmen are gonna work. Let's try some archers. Maybe these guys will help me out, and we'll put in one thief, kind of just to try to lead these guys into the same place. Come and get him, guys. Come and get him. Got him. There goes the first explosion. And there's the second explosion. Okay, that's gonna get these guys. Oh my gosh, so many. Oh, so many of them are down. Oh yes, this is gonna work. The archers are gonna get him. Fire cannon. Oh, he fired. <laughs> Where did the person manning the cannon go? Oh, that was kind of brutal. Guys, don't. Oh no. Oh, oh, he's, he's just kind of pushing you. He doesn't really he doesn't even have a sword. He's just kind of pushing him over. Okay. There's just the one shield guy left. Victory! I win. I deserve that. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, we got shields, spears, and archers. I keep going down just to make sure. I've only got $1,200. But I think the best thing to do would be to use catapults. Because catapults are good at countering these guys. So we've got that, and then let's go some archers. I mean, I mean, I put the catapult over there. It's kind of away from these archers. Maybe I should put the archers just with the catapult. 
So then I'm trying to lead them into one spot and the archers aren't attacking me early on. They have to actually move over. Okay, so there goes the catapult. So nice hit there. Go for another one. There we go. He's targeting the guys on the... Seriously, you guys shot my catapult. Screw you guys, you're all fired. Okay, let's, let's try the archers differently this time. So we get the good crusaders, go to archer. And we'll put the archers right here where they won't shoot my catapult like idiots. There we go, there we go. Okay, there goes the catapult. Got him. All right, not bad. Okay, there we go, got it. Okay, this is working out. Whoo! I kind of took a catapult right in the face. Dude, don't shoot them. I really wish there was like some kind of command thing where I, like, as I'm setting up my team, I could tell each, I could tell like groups of units or specific units who to target or where to go. So I'm kind of at a disadvantage right here. But uh, this archer don't got it. Okay, so I don't want my catapult getting hit. Maybe if I line these guys up and I can press control. All right, I've been trying out a lot of different things, but I can press control and kind of line them up because I can see the grid. And it's a lot smoother putting it down. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do all archers, maybe throw in some footmen or something, but we'll see how this works. Okay, so there's my line of archers. Alright, there goes the catapult. <laughs> right through there, taking out a ton of them. Okay, here's fire shot. Here's the shot number two, takes them out again. Shot number three, takes a couple guys out, gets rid of two of the archers. Shot number four, okay, so it gets that shield guy that time. But now I seriously outnumber them with my archers. And there's the victory. That was really good strategy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh god. How many are there? Why? This is just like a, a death squad. Okay, but I think I can put my trust in one person to deal with this. Trump, you got this. You. Nobody builds walls better than me. Nobody builds walls better than him. No, but, um, yeah, you'll be able to- Oh, <laughs> he's still alive? How are- how are you still alive after that? Oh, there go the muskets. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, flank him, Trump. Get him with your- okay. So he's definitely not gonna work. Uh, sorry, Trump, you, you don't... No. I have an idea, though. What if I create, like, a kind of... What if I build a wall? What if I build a wall better than Trump does? And we've got, like, a lot of shields right here who will block all of the muskets. And then we've got a lot of spearmen who will kill all of the muskets. And they're just gonna kind of advance right behind all of these shields which are protecting them. And there's gonna be like a ton of these guys. Okay. So that seems to work. Let's see how this let's see how this goes actually. I think this might actually work. So there go the shields and the spears. And one shield guy is definitely does not want to go that way. Okay. There's the first volley of the muskets. Okay, that actually this is actually a good plan. If the shield guys over here wouldn't be going the completely wrong way. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so we we actually made it to them. And now we're able to get them. Okay, so this this is going to work definitely. Okay, slap him with your stick. Oh my gosh, it's kind of flagging a little hard right now. I apologize for that. My computer is in not is not the best. Okay, so we got them. Okay, so that takes care of the right. Can we get the left? Dude, you're going the completely wrong way. I just, I never realized it, but look at how comically large these spears are. <laughs> Why are they so long? What, what need do we have of spears that big? Oh, he's about to run into that rock, isn't he? Yep, 
I don't know. These are the greatest of souls. I didn't even know if you won. Oh gosh, another. This one just has cannons. I wonder if I could do the same strategy. I've got more money now. Let's see. I may want a diversion though for those cannons. So let's throw in a chariot. And Santa Claus will go and mess these guys up while the shields and spears advance on them. Seven. Eight is good. Okay, so that should be enough. And then we've just got tons of spearmen back here. And the spearmen shield combo is pretty great. Do they have the same speed? No, the shields are a little lower than the spears which is a bit of a problem i guess i mean it doesn't seem to be too problematic that the spears are rushing in ahead of their defense in the shields okay there we go this is good okay advance my wall and there goes my flipping chariot literally flipping okay um the cannons kind of took out my shields a bit um the chariot just really didn't do his job. That, uh... <laughs> actually, just because of the sheer number of people I have, this might actually work. Wow, that is it. You ca you just ruined that awesome conga line! And there goes his head. Okay, uh, that didn't work. Uh, sh chariot really needs to actually do its job, okay? Um... Okay. Well, maybe... Who's the fastest thing? This is 200 speed. 60 speed. What's the fastest thing I can find? Oh, yeah. This is definitely the fastest thing I can find. It just sucks. Okay. So, uh, go Santa. Charge, actually. Instead of just kind of flying around in here and killing all of the spears. Thanks, bro. Okay, that's... That's good. Oh gosh, what am I even gonna do? Um, I could go for a barrel roller. I've got 600 right here. Oh, come on, guys. Help me out a little here. Oh, I could. I could afford a chicken man. If I just get rid of, like, 10 of these guys. I don't really need 10. Okay, so that's all the ones I need to get rid of. Let's put in a chicken man and we'll like hide him behind this rock. So then he's just making an army of chickens. Here we go, guys. Don't get screwed up by the cannons. You get, you're getting screwed up by the cannons. Okay. All right, so uh, that's a lost cause. Uh, let's go check on chicken man. Yep, just ignoring the screams of pain. Oh, here comes chicken man. Get him. Get him, chicken man, with your chicken army! Get it! Oh no, there goes chicken man. Are you kidding me? Okay. Uh, chicken man, you need to go like, way far back. Just because you have no health at all. Okay. And then we'll put him, like, go up. And we will put him, like, all the way back here. Let's see how this, let's see how this works. Charge my wall and get messed up my shields. Wow, I can't. What counters cannon? I mean, seriously. I can't think of anything that really counters cannon. But, uh... We might win through sheer force of numbers if the, if the chicken man comes and helps. Wow. They're just getting completely <laughs> destroyed. It's not surprising that we're getting destroyed with people like that on our army. Crap there, everybody, for Chicken Man. Oh gosh, no, Chicken Man. Let's go check. Well, there he goes. That's good. Okay, I hear the chickens. Oh gosh, that's a lot of chickens. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's kind of stuck behind the wall, though. Um, are the chickens. What's gonna happen here? Like, honestly, what is going to happen here? Are, it's, it's just like cannons versus Chicken Man. I'm not sure this battle will ever end. Okay, so this is a lost cause. Let's 
Let's not put the chicken man too far back. But I wanted to get a sizable chicken army before he tries to take him on. And this, these guys over here are just kind of our defense. While chicken man gets ready. This is like... What if this is like an actual battle tactic? Can, can I call this tactics? Maybe if I like clear out all of these guys and spread them out as much as possible with just like footmen or thieves or whatever, they will be so untouched that they will be able to actually do something and take these guys out. Okay, so let's just make a wall of footmen. Like, I'm talking a serious wall. Because I, I feel like Donald Trump would be proud of me for this. With such an amazing wall. Oh, yeah, that is... That's just beautiful. I mean, that's, that is truly beautiful. Go, my footmen. This is a completely lost cause. But I really kind of want it. So the chicken man's going to do his own thing. I want to see how grisly of a scene this is going to become. Just with the- how oh, there are surprisingly few dead bodies. Maybe it's just because they started out so close, maybe these guys- I think the thing about this is that these guys have a kind of low firing rate. So, just swarming them with more troops than they can deal with is the way to go. And here come the chickens. There we go. There we go! Okay, there's just the one cannon left. I was hoping to not take forever on this, but it looks like I am. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> the cannon is still fi- Oh, it even hit someone. Just like, there's no one manning it. Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. Guys, destroy- Okay, finally took the cannon down onto the next level. Okay. So we've got a catapult- Oh crap, they have a chicken man. But, uh, they've got two catapults, a chicken man, some footmen, some speed. Okay, so I think... I think the way I'm gonna deal with this is with a Huacha. And, I mean, these shields aren't defending very much, so maybe the Huacha will work. Let's let's see how the Huacha works. Is this the last level? I feel like this is... Oh, holy crap, they got shredded! I mean, they got completely destroyed there. Okay, so, Huacha's good. Huacha is good. Well, now let's put a barrel roller right here, and he'll go after the shields. And then I've still got enough. Of, I think I can send in chariots, and they can deal with the catapults. And maybe that'll work? I'm not exactly sure. So, we'll fire the Huacha. Explode the barrel. That takes care of everyone in the center. And then it's just on the chariots to actually deal with these guys and not get murdered by catapults. Maybe they can do it. <laughs> oh, that guy just did not see that coming. Okay, so the chariot clearly is not what I should be using here. I still got 1,200 left. I want something fast. How fast are all of you? Ooh. Ooh. I could use ninja masters. I could use a ninja master and then a samurai master. And they could take out these guys. And that might work. Maybe. Oh, let's see how this works. So the Hacha goes, kills everyone there. The barrel explodes, taking out all of those guys. Samurai master. <laughs> Sick flips, dude. I mean, seriously. That is awesome. And uh, there goes... There goes my happiness. Okay. What can... What even counters? What even counters the, the, the catapults? The cannons. I could use cannons and take out to target the chariots, and then I've still got money left over, which I could use on some footmen. We'll put like two footmen there. We'll go down here and we'll put two footmen there, and they'll kind of try to distract the catapults while the cannons get in range to shoot them. Okay, so let's see how this works. So, uh,. There goes that, there goes that, and uh, that happens. Hawacha's gone. One of my cannons gone. Oh crap, you gotta be kidding me. You, you got to be kidding me. Okay, so I don't think I need this guy anymore. But what I should be using are more footmen. So 
We'll put some right there. And we'll put some right there. Hawatcha will take out these guys. Cannons will target these guys. Then try to go after the catapults. These guys will also target the catapults. There should really be a command. Guys. Like, tell your units what to do. Where to go, exactly. Okay, so that takes care of them. Maybe a little bit. I mean, Hawatcha's extremely Oh my gosh, Chicken Man is still up. You've got to be kidding me. He's not still alive, is he? Okay, can the cannon get the other catapult? Oh! We did it! Oh, that was amazing. Oh, that was it, guys. We beat the desert levels. <laughs> it only took us 25 minutes. Uh, that was terrible. I'm sorry about these episodes. I don't want these episodes to be very long. But it's just the way it has to go when I have a goal. I'm not focused, but uh, thank you all so very much for watching through my horrid good gameplay. But hopefully I will see you all next time. Until then, guys.